Hi, we're back at Dee Dee's Place, and today we're reading about Henry's Awful Mistake. And the author and illustrator, again, it's the same person, and his name is Robert Quackenbush. That's right, his last name is really Quackenbush. And because his last name, Quack, sounds like the sound a duck makes, um, one day this author got a letter from a little boy saying, Are you really a duck? Because his last name was Quackenbush. And right then, uh, Mr. Quackenbush got the idea to write a story about a duck. So he wrote actually a couple different stories, maybe several, about Henry. And Henry is the star of the story. He is the one the story's about. So this is Henry's awful mistake. And it's a story about a duck and ants. Remember we made those ants on a log, so I hope you're eating those. You're snacking on those while we read this story about all these ants going across. And a fun song to sing, if you've never heard of it before, is The Ants Go Marching One by One. And maybe your mom or your dad know that song and they can sing it with you. And that's a lot of fun. Or your grandma or grandpa, they might know that song because it's been around for a long time. And you can sing that song about the ants. And so Henry's Awful Mistake by Robert Quackenbush. And here's our dedication page. And this one was dedicated to, it says, Fuller Piet. And Piet is Mr. Quackenbush's little boy. And it also says, and his grandma Q and Margie and Leslie B. That's all the people he dedicated to. So they must be special people in his life. All right, are you ready? The day Henry the Duck asked his friend Clara over for supper, he found an ant in the kitchen. <gasps> Do you see the ant right here? This is not good. You do not want to see an ant in your kitchen. Henry was worried that Clara would see the ant. She might think his house was not clean. The ant had to go. Henry reached for a can of ant spray. But he didn't want to spray near the food because then the food that he was cooking, it wouldn't taste right and it's very it's not very safe to have. To eat ant killer that would not be good so instead he chased the ant with a frying pan look at his angry face he's chasing that ant he's trying to get the ant here's the ant right here the ants running away from Henry now Henry ran around the kitchen chasing after the ant but the ant got away see it went all the way around and the ant got away and hid behind the stove Hmm, look at Henry's face. He's kind of angry here. He's getting frustrated. So Henry took the food he was cooking off the stove, and then he shut off the flame, and he pulled the stove away from the wall. He saw the ant. There it is. Oh, that ant's going to get it now. But the ant saw Henry, and the ant ran to a small crack in the wall. Henry went and got a hammer. Henry pounded a big hole in the wall where the crack was, but he couldn't find the ant. So he kept on pounding. Do you see how big this hole is getting? It's kind of big. Oh my goodness, look at how big that hole is now. The hole got bigger and bigger and bigger. And at last, Henry saw the ant way up there on this post. Can you see that on the pole? There's the ant. Now Henry sees the ant. And he saw that ant sitting on a pipe inside the wall. And he's swinging back the hammer now. He's gonna get that ant. Henry aimed the hammer at the ant and missed. But the blow of the hammer broke the pipe. This is not good. Water came shooting out of the pipe. Henry couldn't stop it. There's water going everywhere. Henry grabbed a towel. He tied it around the pipe and the water stopped shooting out. Look at all the water just dripping all over the place. Oh, what a mess. Oh my goodness. But Henry hadn't stopped the water soon enough. It had sprayed all over the kitchen. Everything was soaking wet. 
except for Clara's supper. Thank goodness. Oh, phew. Henry began mopping up the puddles of water. All at once, he slipped and banged against the kitchen table, and everything came crashing down, and Henry was covered with pots and pans and food. Did you see it flying everywhere? Oh, my goodness, all the places. There's the water on the floor, and there's the food coming out of the pots, and there's water and lettuce, and oh, what a mess. Oh, my goodness. The supper was ruined. There was nothing Henry could do now but to call Clara and tell her not to come. You see Henry's face here. Look at him. All underneath that food. Oh, Henry. While Henry was talking on the telephone, the towel came loose from the pipe, and the water came shooting out and flooded the whole house. Henry was carried right out the front door by the flood. Oh, this is such a messy story. Oh my goodness, look at the house just floating there, water shooting everywhere. Henry's all soaking wet, he's a mess. There was no going back. Poor Henry's house was washed away by the flood. He saved what he could and he moved into a new house. Now I want you to look closely in this picture. You see Henry leaving with his suitcase. What do you see right here behind Henry? Do you see that? Do you remember who that is? That's the little ant that started all this trouble. And it's following Henry. I think it might be going to the new house. When Henry was settled in his new house, he again asked Clara over for supper. Just as he went to the door to let Clara in, he sees something. Do you see what it is? That's right. He saw an ant. He looked the other way. Smart thing. That way it would all start all over again. And that's the story of Henry's Awful Mistake by Robert Quackenbush. See you next time at Dee Dee's Place.